All right, so, so I'm gonna just do a quick review of this Tool Guy Republic brake flaring tool. I recently made all the brake lines for my 66 Mustang, all the hard lines, and I figured now that I use it, I'd just quickly share a couple tips and things that I've realized. First off, I mean, obviously I'm not sponsored or paid or whatever. This is a great kit though. Um, set it in the bench vise. Set it in the bench vise there. Now once you do that, this thing pops in. Very easy. So I'm gonna do a demonstration real quick on one piece that I have right here. Um, obviously, deburr it before you do it and for this car I took an inverted flare I'm using uh, 316 inverted flare double flare whatever uh, the names kind of confused me at first so that would be a 316 45 degree flare so that's the one I'm using put it in here So I will show you quickly, it butts up there. Um, so once you put your, let's see here, you put your brake line in there, it will only match up one way. Okay, so. Now that it's in here, you're gonna swap to op zero. That's the first one. Now my first mistake I made here was having this too tight. So when you set everything down to your zero, then you tighten it. Now, if you wanna see what will happen if you do, if you keep that too tight before you set your zero, you'll get a weird double flare, like a bubbly flare like that. that would, that's what happens if you keep that too tight when you set your zero. So then one now let's that tight tighten that. And then so I'm just doing a 316 stibble flare, inverted flare, whatever you want to call it. I'm doing operation one until it maxes out. And then I switch to OP2. Same thing. Pull it till it maxes out. Let it go. Undo that. That and voila. Here's our flare. Great tool, pretty straightforward. My only mistake was I was not having it loose enough when I set the base of the, the tube. But overall, um, this was a good kit and helped me do these uh, icons on my Mustang.